Hey guys, Sleepy here and welcome to a new collection video. Today we're going to take a look at my updated Xbox 360 collection. Now, the last time I filmed an Xbox 360 collection video was back in 2018, so it's been five years. And I've added a lot of titles to my Xbox 360 collection since that video. I've also got rid of a lot of garbage titles, sports games, kids games and stuff that I did not want. So. If you guys had watched that old video, you will see a bunch of games missing that I had in that collection video, but you'll also see a bunch of new ones as well. So let's take a look here. I've got 586 games in my Xbox 360 collection, so this one's going to take a little bit of time. So best grab a drink, grab a snack, and enjoy this look at my Xbox 360 collection. All right, guys, so we'll get started here. I'm just going to warn you. None of my games are in alphabetical order. My Xbox 360 games are all just kind of mixed up, so there will be no kind of order like that. They're not going to be together by genre, and sequels and stuff might not even be together, just kind of randomly piled here. So let's get started. First up, we have Lego Indiana Jones 2, The Adventure Continues. I love Lego games, so if you guys are a fan of the Lego games and you've not played it before and you like Indiana Jones, I recommend getting number two. Next up, we have WWE Legends of WrestleMania. This is a great wrestling game. You have over 40 legendary superstars and managers. It has a cool story mode where you can create your own character and go through that. And then you get to battle and participate in all kinds of iconic classic WrestleMania moments like the title for title when Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan wrestled each other or Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. If you guys love classic wrestling, I recommend this one. Really good game. Uh, Escape Dead Island. I've not got the chance to play it, but I love the Dead Island games. Looking forward to eventually playing this one. I've heard really good things about it. Uh, Blaze Blue, Continuum, Shift. A uh, fighting game I've not played yet, but I heard good things about it. Fracture. This was a really awesome uh, game. Third-person shooter with different kind of mechanics where you could actually... Uh, use weapons to adjust the terrain in the game. Really interesting one. I beat this one. Recommend you guys check it out. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company has a great story. I love this game. Damnation that was a pretty cool western game. Body Count, an interesting first person shooter. The Day One Edition of Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain Tactical Espionage Operations. The Godfather 2, I love this game, I 100% beat it. I actually got this game, uh, it was either a week or two weeks before launch date. We had a local mom and pop store that would break street date for my brother and I, so we got to play this game early. Absolutely loved it, fantastic. I really wish they would have made a Godfather 3. Kanan Lynch, Deadman, that was a fun game. Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War 2, I love my... Uh, playing simulator combat games. This one's really awesome. I highly recommend it for 360. Really fun and has good visuals. The First Templar, a cool action RPG. Not the greatest one in the world, but a really fun AA studio. Uh, made this one really fun game. Uh, Lord of the Rings, War in the North. This says it's a collector's edition. Unfortunately, it's just the uh, actual case that came with it. I don't have the collector's edition, but this is a fun Lord of the Rings RPG. Absolutely love it, and I would like to get the collector edition sometime. Uh, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. I love the Transformers movies, and so there was a bunch of games based on the movies, and they are done really well. Usually video game based movies are terrible, but this one is amazing. Uh, Ratatouille, which I love that movie. Really cool. Ninja Gaiden 2. Absolutely love this game. I got this uh, for free from Family Video. Um, we got a bunch of credit back in the day. We helped them move in a bunch of rugs when they were remodeling, and they gave us a free, some free games, and then they gave a, a, bus, a bunch of credit to get uh, rentals and buy games and stuff. So that was one of the ones I got for free from them. Crackdown, love this game. It was amazing. Absolutely a wonderful game on Xbox 360. Now, I know a bunch of people got it because it was able to get you into the Halo 3 beta which I also enjoy being in, but I really loved Crackdown. Really good game on 360. Uh, Madagascar Karts, just a little kart racer game I used to play with my son. Uh, Star Trek, based off of the new uh, Star Trek. Actually, it's a really fun Star Trek game. I do recommend, if you're a Star Trek fan, to check this one out. Uh, Homefront, that was a cool first-person uh, shooter. Love this. And a lot of people hated it, but I really enjoyed it. 
Uh, Rogue Warrior, really cool. Mickey Rourke does the voice of the main character. Lots of swearing and violence. Amazing game. Uh, Perfect Dark Zero, one of the first Xbox 360 games I ever played and owned. Halo 4, love Halo. See, no 360 collection is complete without having Halos in it. The Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. This is really cool. It has two uh, Chronicles of Riddick games. They even had a remastered version of the original Xbox uh, from Butcher Bay one in there, which is cool. Uh, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. This was an awesome Castlevania game. Love it. Highly recommend it. A regular copy of Two Worlds 2, which you guys will see the collector's edition of that later. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, which this was an updated version of the original Dragon's Dogma. I absolutely love this game. It did eventually get ported to uh, PS4 and Xbox One consoles. Really awesome game. Prototype 2. I love the prototype games. Really fun. Uh, Dark Void. An interesting little game. Dead to Rights Retribution. I love the Dead to Rights game, and this one was really fun. I beat this a couple different times. If you love the uh, the other Dead to Rights games on the original Xbox or PS2, highly recommend this one on 360. I have two copies of the Ultimate Edition of uh, Dragon Age Origins. I used to have more, but I uh, sold them off. This has everything you need to complete the uh, Dragon Age 1 game. It has all the DLC and everything on the disc. I got both of these from my uh, brother. Really cool. Love having these in the collection. Uh, Dragon Age Origins Awakening. So that was a big expansion pack to the first game. Beat this one. Loved it. Uh, Dragon Age 2, the Bioware Signature Edition. I never did fully beat this one. Now this one was sadly not as good as the first Dragon Age game, but I still enjoyed it. I do need to go back and beat it. Bound by Flame. This is an awesome double A uh, action RPG. I have not beat it, but I'm really far into it. Another one I recommend. And then it looks like I have another copy of Bound by Flame. Hunting the Demon's Forge. That's a cool action RPG. Love that one. Knight's Contract, another double uh, A action RPG title. Game of Thrones. This is a cool action RPG set in the Game of Thrones universe. It's a really good RPG. Didn't know anything about it when I picked it up. I just, it's like, you know, I love the show. I'm like, oh, let's check it out, you know. I thought at first this was the Telltale game, and then I realized it wasn't, and I absolutely loved it. Really good game. If you like action RPGs, you like Game of Thrones, I recommend this one. And a Platinum Hits copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, of course, this was not that great of a Sonic game. Um, Sonic games are kind of up in the air. There's some good ones, but there's a lot of trash ones. It was fun for the time, but not one I would recommend uh, picking up. Next up we have Crisis 3, the Hunter Edition. Love Crisis series, awesome game. Peter Jackson's The King Kong uh, movie game. Beat this, loved it, 100% of it, it was awesome. The Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, which has some DLC characters. Resident Evil 5, I beat this many times solo. I beat it with my brother co-op. I had a lot of fun with Resident Evil 5, that was a great game. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, love Ninja Gaiden, but these games are absolutely brutally difficult. That is awesome. Uh, next up, here's the first game I ever owned for Xbox 360, and I actually bought it a week before the console launched uh, when I worked at Target, and that is Need for Speed Most Wanted. One of my favorite Need for Speed games of all time. I do need to actually finish beating this game. I played it for the first year that I owned it and got to the final uh, boss, but I never played it again. So that's been a long time. I need to go back and finally complete this game. Uh, DuckTales Remastered, that was a really cool uh, remaster of that old NES classic game. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the first one, great game. Test Drive Unlimited, a really fun racing game where you get to race in Hawaii. I love it. There's also a little bit of a story and stuff to the game, really fun. Ferrari Racing Legends, this was the GameStop exclusive edition which came with an uh, extra car. Awesome game. Binary Domain, I have not got to play it, but I heard really good things about it. A sealed Platinum Hits copy of Forza Motorsport 2, the complete edition. It has all the DLC and everything. Love having these kind of collections. Uh, next up, we have Halo Reach. I absolutely loved Halo Reach. It's amazing. I'm actually currently playing the remastered version on my Xbox Series X in the Master Chief Collection, where they upgraded the graphics and performance and stuff. Amazing game, amazing story. If you love Halo... 
you got to play Halo Reach because you get to the origin stories of Master Chief and the fall of Reach and everything. Just a really good game. The Halo Anniversary Collection. This is awesome. Our um, Anniversary Edition of a remastered version of the original Halo 4, the Xbox. And when you play it, you get to actually switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. An amazing game. Uh, this one is Aki Katana. It is a uh, side-scrolling shooter. Really cool game. Next up we have Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I love the Tekken games. This is a really fun fighter. Battlefield 3, a good uh, first-person shooter. Blazing Angels 2, Secret Missions of World War 2, another great combat simulator. Fable 3, I love the Fable series. I did not beat this, but I need to. Kingdom Under Fire, Fire, Circle of Doom, another action RPG. It's not that great, uh, but I did enjoy playing it a little bit, but I would not recommend it unless you're a die-hard fan of the series. The First Two Worlds, love this game. It is amazing. It has one of the largest achievements I ever got. I think it was either like 280 or 350, some weird high achievement for being one of the bosses in the game. I love this game. A lot of people hated it, but I had a lot of fun with it. And it is a great action RPG that I would recommend. Uh, Battleship, it's a game based off of the movie. I took my wife to see that in the theaters, and we both enjoyed it. I have not played the game yet, so I'm not sure how it is. Transformers War for Cybertron, I love the Transformer games. These are really cool. There's a whole trilogy of these that deal with uh, Autobots and Decepticons fighting on Cybertron before they come to Earth. Highly recommend these games. Uh, ACDC Live Rock Band Track Pack. My wife and my son loved playing Rock Band and Guitar Hero back in the day, so I bought all the different packs I could get for them. They have not played them in years, but I'm going to have to bust it out sometime and let them play because I know my wife would probably enjoy playing it again. I have two copies of Destroy All Humans, Path of Fear on. I love this game. I would love to see this one get a remaster eventually. Really fun title. Fallout New Vegas, absolutely love this, one of my favorite in the Fallout uh, series on the 360. Time Shift, and this came with a cool bonus DVD. This was a great uh, game, absolutely loved it, beat it. I do need to go back and play it again as I completely forgot the story, but I had a lot of fun with it. Command & Conquer 3, Tiberium Wars, I love Command & Conquer, great RTS series, plays really well for a console port, love this. Uh, Fuel, a really cool racing game has i think this is like has the largest world of any video game out there 14,000 kilometers to drive on 75 vehicles 190 challenges and 70 career races really cool game army of two love this game you can play it co-op i played with my brother and beat it beat it multiple times even played it online with buddies great game a uh, splatter house this is a really cool uh, continuation of the old like Sega Genesis and TurboGrafx-16 games. Amazing game, highly recommend it. SSX, cool snowboard, uh, snowboarding game. Call of Juarez, that was a really fun game, had a lot of fun with this. Arcania uh, Gothic 4, an awesome action RPG. I'm at the very end, I do need to pop this back in and finish beating it. Platinum Hits copy of LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Amazing game. The first Mass Effect. Love this game. Beat it. Had a lot of fun with it. Batman Arkham City. Love this game. I did never did finish beating it, but I do need to go back and complete it. I love the Batman Arkham series, and this one was great. Uh, the Lord of the Rings Conquest. So this is basically Lord of the Rings that plays like Star Wars Battlefront. If you guys ever played the Battlefront games, this is a Lord of the Rings version of it. It is a crazy, fun Highly recommend this one. South Park, The Stick of Truth, a cool South Park RPG. So if you guys are a big fan of the South Park games and the TV show and stuff, recommend checking this one out. It was really fun. The Darkness, awesome first-person shooter. Do you have these darkness powers and stuff? Beat it, loved it. Rock Band Track Pack Volume 2. Tom Clancy, Splinter Cell, Blacklist. Love the Splinter Cell games. This one was great. Uh, Platinum Hits copy of Project Gotham Racing 3, classic series for Xbox. The original Dead Island, love this game, absolutely amazing. I do have the remastered version of Xbox One that I need to beat. Uh, Tiger Woods, P. 
PGA Tour 2008. I don't have many sports titles left as I got rid of them, but this was a personal favorite of mine on 360 because I do occasionally like to play a golf game, and so I kept this one. 99 Knights 2, this plays like Dynasty Warriors, awesome game. Mercenaries 2, World in Flames, a sequel to the old Mercenaries game that was on uh, PlayStation 2. Love this game, highly recommend it. The original Dragon's Dogma, which got me started in the series, love it. Uh, regular copy of Mass Effect 2. Laurel Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary Collection. Crisis 2, my favorite of the three Crisis games. Love this game, beat it a couple times. A pre-order bonus for the original Mass Effect, which has some bonus stuff and demos and stuff on the disc. Velvet Assassin, I've not played, but I heard good things about it. I would like to check it out soon. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Mafia 2. And then I also have the Platinum Hits version of Mafia 2, which has all the DLC on it. I beat this game uh, last year. Loved it. I highly recommend the Mafia series. All three of them are amazing. I would recommend getting this Platinum Hits version because this is how you can get all the DLC for free on the disc. And it usually doesn't cost too much more than a regular copy does. Infinite Undiscovery. That's a cool JRPG. Love that one. And it is real-time combat and not turn-based. That's what I really like. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, love the story in this. I do not play Call of Duty games multiplayer anymore. I just play them for the story, and this one had a great story. The Lego Lord of the Rings, love Lord of the Rings, so it was cool seeing a Lego version. Alone in the Dark, I beat this 100% of it. I love this, I love the Alone in the Dark games. If you never played this version, I recommend it. Lego Harry Potter, years one to four. And here coming up is a personal favorite title of mine on the Xbox 360. It's X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition. I love Wolverine. He's one of my absolute favorite Marvel superheroes. He's actually my mom's favorite as well. This game is super bloody and violent. When Wolverine takes damage, you actually can see his animantium skeleton under the... They don't take any kind of shit from anybody in this game. Just absolutely hardcore, brutal bloody and violent. I highly, highly recommend this title. The Uncaged Edition is amazing on 360. You gotta play it. It's great. Next up we have The Outfit, which this is a really cool war game. I also have Inversion, which I've not get a chance to play, but I've heard really good things about it. Next up we have Lucha Libre Heroes del Ring. So, a Mexican wrestling game. It is really fun. Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Forza Motorsport 2 uh, Double Pack. Two Human. I enjoyed this RPG. This is that one that was kind of stuck in uh, development hell for like 10 years and they finally got it released. And kind of people really hated it, but I had fun. I never did beat it, so I need to go back and beat this one. Next up we have Ninja Blade, which is a game from From Software that plays just like uh, Ninja Gaiden. And then I also got a cool uh, Japanese copy that I found here locally. Really neat. Uh, Two Worlds Collector's Edition. This is just an extra one that I found uh, loose, but you guys will see a complete one later. Condemned Criminal Origins. Oh, such an awesome first-person game where you have to uh, use melee combat and stuff. There are guns, but not a lot of it. Really freaky shit happens in this. You um, investigate a uh, serial killer who kills other serial killers with their motive. It's a really fun game. I highly recommend this. And then also have Condemned 2 Bloodshot, the sequel, which I also beat. Really good game. Eternal Sonata. This is a JRPG. Cool game. Uh, Superman Returns. This is actually a really fun Superman game. There's not a lot of good Superman games. This one's cool. It's an open world Superman game. So if you guys have played like the Spider-Man games, think of that but a Superman setting where you can go through Metropolis and you do main missions and side missions and stuff. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is a really good uh, movie-based game. I definitely recommend if you're a fan of Superman, check this one out. I have the Dishonored Game of the Year edition. And I also have it as a Platinum Hits. Pretty cool. They had two different versions of this. Then I have a Platinum Hits version of the regular Dishonored one. 
Uh, here's another personal horror favorite of mine. It's very quirky. It did get a remastered version, and that is Deadly Premonition. It is backwards compatible on Xbox One and Xbox Series X. Love this game. I am currently uh, working on beating it. I want to beat it this year. I loved it. Uh, NBA 2K8, which I'm a huge fan of the NBA 2K series. I've been playing them since the original NBA 2K on Dreamcast, so you will see quite a few of the NBA 2K games in my collection. A regular copy of Diablo 3. I loved it and beat this game. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, a cool Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Burnout Revenge. This was also released on the PS2 and original Xbox, but the 360 version is much better. I recommend this version. Chaotic Shadow Warriors, a little fighting game. Uh, Turok, this game was awesome. I beat this a couple different times. Great first person shooter. If you guys like the Turok games on the 64, I recommend checking out this Turok on 360. It is fun. Battle Fantasia, I don't know much about it, but a buddy recommended it, so I will have to check it out eventually. And then we have Dark Sector. This was an amazing third person action game. Loved it. Next up, we have Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, another great RPG, third-person action RPG. Loved it. History, Legends of War, Patton. I have not played it, but it looked kind of cool, so I took it home. Red Dead Redemption, The Undead Nightmare, a cool expansion to the Red Dead Redemption. Uh, Naruto, Rise of a Ninja, a really fun Naruto uh, RPG. Recommend this one. Vikings, Battle for Asgard. This was an awesome action RPG where he plays a Viking warrior. It's also very brutal and violent. Loved it. The Steel Book that came with my Aliens vs. Predator Collector's Edition. I keep it out so I can enjoy playing the game. Love this game. It's amazing. Top Gun Hardlock. Another uh, combat simulator title. Very fun. Limited Edition of Need for Speed Most Wanted. So when they Made a new Most Wanted and they kept the same name. It was kind of a stupid decision, but um, this one's a real fun title. The Rise of the Argonauts, a fun action RPG. Need for Speed Rivals, great Need for Speed title. Spectral Force 3, another, I believe this one's a fighting game. Uh, Dead Space 3, love the Dead Space series, so I have to have these. Dead Space 2. And my personal favorite, Dead Space 1. I do want to get the Dead Space remastered version for the Xbox Series X. Heard really good things about it. Saw great gameplay and stuff. So I can't wait to uh, check it out as I beat this first one multiple times. Have this uh, Steelbook version of Tomb Raider. Amazing game. Tropico 3. There's so many of these games. It's a really fun uh, series though. Rockstar Table Tennis. My dad used to love playing this with me on 360. He's a huge fan of Table Tennis, so that was a fun one. WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Air Conflicts Vietnam. So you get to battle in Vietnam with another, you know, combat with planes and helicopters. Pretty cool. Birds of Steel. Another uh, flight simulator combat title. The Amazing Spider-Man, that was a fun game based off the movie. Doom 3 BFG Edition, love Doom 3, that's awesome. Another copy of Eternal Sonata, but this one's just in much better condition. The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings Enhanced Edition, big box that comes with, uh, I think it's a comic or a book or something. Really cool version. X-Men Destiny, a cool X-Men RPG. Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. I really like this game. It plays just like the Marvel Ultimate Alliance, except it's a Fantastic Four game. Recommend this one. Uh, Need for Speed to Run. That's a really cool Need for Speed game. Uh, Skylanders Giants. Kengo Legend of the Nine. An interesting little uh, fighting title. The Limited Edition Need for Speed a Hot Pursuit. I have a few different versions of this. Love this game. Race Pro, which this was an exclusive GameStop version that came with some DLC. Amazing racing title. Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I used to remember playing this co-op with my brother. Loved this game. Uh, Gears of War Judgment. Not the best Gears of War game, but it was still kind of fun and had some unique uh, mechanics to it. 
Import Tuner Challenge, a personal favorite racer of mine. It's the last game released in the Tokyo Extreme Racer Series. Sadly, it's not backwards compatible. I really wish it was. It's really expensive too, but if you love the Tokyo Extreme Racer Series, I highly recommend getting this one. Overlord, the first game I beat this one. Loved it, really fun. Hour of Victory, this is a really fun first person uh, shooter during World War II, great game. The original Gears of War, love this game. Absolutely fantastic. I did did play and own the remastered version for the Xbox One. Great game. Then I have a couple different copies of Gears of War 2. And then I have something that's really special, really hard to get these because these were not supposed to be sold. They are supposed to be thrown away or destroyed. The Gears of War 2 limited edition for dis display only steelbook. Like GameStop and Walmart and different like retailers would have this out on display so you could see what it would look like. If you have the actual limited edition version, this steelbook turned uh, silver and it doesn't have any of the writing on it. I got this at a local game store for like $8. I was so excited to see and have it in my collection as I love the Gear series and this is a personal favorite in my collection. And then we also have Gears of War 3, which I really love to beat this one multiple times. I have that original Prey game. Love this first person shooter. If you've never played Prey, highly recommend you guys check it out. It is fun. Uh, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This game is amazing. It just sucks that all the Spider-Man games right now are worth a ton of money. This one goes for like 80, 90 bucks locally. I got it years ago for cheap. Really happy to have that. Uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record. So uh, expansion to the original Dead Rising 2 game where you get to play as Frank West. It's great. The Ultimate Edition, Ultimate Marvel Ultimate Alliance Gold Edition, which has the extra eight extra playable characters. That DLC has been de was delisted because of legal reasons. The only way to get the DLC is to buy this version, and this version has become quite expensive over the years. And then we have a game called Fuse, which I've not played before, but I did want to check it out. All right, let's get to the next stack. We have 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. This is a great game. It plays like Gears of War, but has a 50 Cent setting, has all 50 Cent uh, music and G Unit, and all those people. If you like 50 Cent and never played it, I recommend this game. It is fun. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I love this game. That was amazing. Uh, Vanquish. That was another fun game. More Effects, an action RPG that I enjoyed. Aragon, based on the movie. It is a fun RPG. I love playing that one. Uh, Beowulf, the game, which is based off of the Beowulf uh, mythology and the movie. Fun action RPG I'd be. I loved it. Uh, Need for Speed Undercover. That was a cool Need for Speed. Prince of, per uh, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. That was great. Burnout Paradise, my favorite of all the Burnout games I ever played. Great game. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, my personal favorite wrestling title for the 360. Soldier of Fortune Payback, a cool first-person shooter. Not a lot of people enjoyed this one, but I did. Uh, Rage the Anarchy Edition, love this game, but I need to go back and finish it. X-Blades is a fun little action RPG. The limited edition of Need for Speed Shift 2. Uh, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, not as good as the first one, but it was still fun. Far Cry Instincts Predator has two games in one, even has the old original Xbox Far Cry game in there. Open Season. Rock Band 2, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage 2, plays kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game, pretty cool, uh, Prince of Persia, then I have a double pack of the Lego Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda, and Sleeping Dogs, this was an awesome game that played like Grand Theft Auto, but it had a Hong Kong setting. Alright guys, give me a moment so I can get this mess cleaned up and then we'll move on to the next stacks. All right, let's continue. I have Need for Speed Carbon, the Collector's Edition. Forza Motorsport 3, which I love the Forza Motorsport, and the older ones are really fun. Recommend if you never played before, check it out. The Rock Band Country Track Pack. Uh, DMC Devil May Cry. I love the Devil May Cry games, and this one was really fun. Resident Evil Revelations. I love Resident Evil games, and I really love this one. Definitely recommend it. Golden Axe Beast Warrior, this is a cool action RPG that's um, 
continuation of the old uh, Golden Axe games. Definitely recommend it. Red Faction Armageddon. Love the Red Faction games, and this one was a really fun title. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Classic fighting game. Love the Marvel uh, vs. Capcom series. Sacred 3. Awesome action RPG that's isometric. Uh, Brutal Legend. This was a cool uh, RPG that Jack Black uh, voices the character. Really cool. Uh, Divinity 2. The Dragon Knight Saga version of it. And then I also have the Dragon... And then I have Divinity 2 Echo Draconis, the Best Buy Pre-Order Edition. Pretty cool games. This has two games in one. This also has the expansion and DLC and stuff on it. So this is the one I would recommend to pick up if you want to play this uh, original version. Next up we have Dungeon Siege 3, another isometric great action RPG. Resonance of Fate... Another RPG. Dante's Inferno. This game is amazing. Plays kind of like uh, God of War. You play as Dante and you go into hell and battle the devil and all kinds of crazy creatures and beasts. Really good game. Fable 2. Classic game. Love the Fable series. Supreme Commander 2. A cool RTS game. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. This was a fun little action RPG. Conflict Denied Ops. That was a cool first-person shooter. Halo 3 ODST. Love this game. Beat it. It was the first time in the Halo game where you weren't playing as the Master Chief. You actually play as one of the ODST uh, members, so that was really cool. The Cursed Crusade, another cool action RPG. Another double-A title. Really enjoyed this one. World Championship Poker. Howard Letterer All In, which I'm a big fan of poker, so I have to have a few poker games. Uh, Medal of Honor, really like this first person shooter. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, I have not beat the first one, so once I do beat the first one, I would like to beat the second one. Omerta City of Gangsters, my brother gave this to me, I've not played it, but it looks really cool because it has an isometric view. Uh, Fallout 3 game add-on pack, so this has some of the DLC. I love when I can get physical DLC because if the marketplace ever shuts down, I always have that DLC backed up on these discs. Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, that was a fun game. Defiance, I never played this, I just was given to me from a buddy, so I don't know. I never watched the TV series either. I have no idea if the game's good or bad. If you guys have played it, let me know. Sega Superstars Tennis and Xbox Live Arcade Compilation Disc. This was another pack-in title with one of the consoles. Cubed, uh, Luminine Lives, uh, Every Extent Extra Extreme, and Res HD, so a little collection of arcade games. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct, a first-person shooter in, set in the Walking Dead universe. A lot of people hated this, but I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Dead or Alive 4, a great fighting game. The Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, this is awesome. It combined the first two Lego games into one. You got to play through all six movies. Recommend this one if you're a Star Wars fan. El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Don't know anything about it, but it looked kind of cool. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged has a bunch of different Xbox Live Arcade titles that you can play. NBA 2K13. Earth Defense Force 2025. I love the EDF games. Really fun game where you get to fight giant insects and aliens and creatures. It's really fun. The original prototype. Love the game. I do need to go back and finish beating this one. The Simpsons video game, this was awesome. I beat this a couple different times, even played a co-op with my son. Absolutely love it. If you love Simpsons, I recommend this game. You get to go through the city of Springfield and interact with all kinds of characters. There's funny quotes and really funny, memory, uh, memorable moments in this game. Definitely recommend it. Another copy of The Rise of Argonauts. This was a Hollywood video version. Dark Souls 2, the Black Armor Edition. This came with my collection edition, which you guys will see later in the video. And I also have the Commander Edition of XCOM Enemy Within. Love the XCOM game, so this is a cool one. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld. Love the Tomb Raider games. Elder Scrolls V Sky War, uh, Skyrim Legendary Edition, which has all the DLC on disc. Great collection. Uh, Silent Hill HD Collection. This has remastered versions of Silent Hill 2 and 3. This was originally plagued with lots of bugs and stuff. They have since patched it. It is backwards compatible on Xbox One and Xbox Series X. 
I love them. A lot of people hated it, but I loved having this. Uh, Silent Hill Downpour, another great Silent Hill title. It gets hated on a lot, but I really enjoyed this game. I love this story. I beat this multiple times. I beat it like six different times. Got all the endings, achievements, everything, and I loved it. Uh, Dirt Showdown, great dirt game. Grid Autosport, another awesome racing title. Grid 2, another amazing racing title. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This game has been delisted. It's a really fun game. They did uh, release another version of this for the Xbox One. Love this game. Carrier Command Gaia Mission. Looks kind of cool. I've not played it yet, though. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Sequel to Battlefield Bad Company. Awesome game. Duke Nukem Forever. I know everybody kind of hated this game, but I love Duke Nukem and I really enjoyed this game. I would love to get the Balls of Steel edition of this sometime in the future. A regular copy of Aliens Colonial Marines. I know a lot of people hated this. It did not live up to expectations, but if you're a huge Aliens fan, you like first-person shooters, I recommend uh, checking it out. It doesn't have the great voice acting, doesn't have the best graphics, but it was still a really fun game. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Love this one. Bulletstorm Epic Edition. Absolutely love this game. I've got the remastered version for Xbox One and played in my Series X this year and beat it. Love this game. It was so awesome. Uh, Call of Duty 3. It wasn't as good as Call of Duty 2, but I still had fun with it. Uh, Just Cause 2. That's an awesome game. Plays kind of like a Grand Theft Auto game. Really awesome. Uh, Mind Jack. This was a cool, interesting title. Uh, the King of Fighters, I think 12? Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle Earth. This is a Lord of the Rings RTS game. If you like RTS games, you like Lord of the Rings, I recommend checking this out. Lego Harry Potter, years 5 to 7. Lost, Pan uh, Lost Planet Extreme Condition. Love this game. I played the demo and loved it so much that I eventually bought a copy of it. Great game. Uh, Catherine from Atlas. This is a really interesting a puzzle game I recommend checking out. Uh, Ridge Racer 6. Great uh, game in the Se Ridge Racer series. Love it. The 2009 Wolfenstein first person shooter. I know this is a personal favorite of my buddy uh, Dean. I'm pretty sure he bought an Xbox 360 just so he could play this game. Great title. L.A. Noir, Great game. I remember my brother and I got this early from that same store. We got that other game where they broke Street Date. That was cool. Blood Bowl. So an extreme, bloody, violent uh, football game. There's actually a tabletop version that this game is actually based on. Uh, Driver San Francisco, I've not played, but I have heard kind of mixed things about it. Dirt, that was an awesome racing title. Risen 1, love this game. It is backwards compatible on the Xbox One and Xbox Series console. Great one. Um, I have a sealed copy of Risen 2, which has all the DLC in it. And then I also have Risen 3 Titan Lords. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, big money. I love Wheel of Fortune. So when I saw they had one for the 360, I had to get it. I had a lot of fun playing this with friends and family. Great game. Uh, World Series of Poker, Tournament of Champions 2007 edition, which I used to love watching the World Series of Poker on TV. So it was really cool when they had the game. I love poker. Of course, I love playing it in person, but it is still fun playing on the 360. Uh, Crackdown 2, great sequel to the original Crackdown. Love this one even more than the first Crackdown. Uh, Deuce Ex Human Revolution, the regular version. Uh, Enemy Territory Quake Wars, this was a fun game. Lego Rock Band, so they have Rock Band, but with Lego people. So another one I got for my wife and son. Uh, this game, Dark, which I'm pretty sure you play as an art, as a vampire. Yeah, he plays a vampire and it's an RPG. I don't remember too much about it. I do know a lot of people hated it, but I actually enjoyed it. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4, the arcade edition. Enemy Front, which I don't remember a whole lot about it, but it is a first-person shooter. Uh, Battle Stations Midway. And Dirt 2, another great one in the Dirt series. Here's a steelbook for Grand Theft Auto 5 that came with my collection edition, which you guys will see here in a little bit. A Monopoly, which has a bunch of classic Monopoly boards. Whenever I play Monopoly, I enjoy playing the uh, 360 version or one of my consoles because I don't have to bust out a board or anything. And uh, you can do, change all kinds of different settings and stuff. Really fun one. 
Uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim just came with my collection edition. You guys will see that here soon. The Platinum Hits version of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and Viva Pinata Double Pack. I have some Kinect games. Not a big fan of the Kinect, uh, but my son used to and my wife used to enjoy playing some of these. So we had the Michael Jackson The Experience. Uh, here's the first Supreme Commander that RTS series. Amazing game. Uh, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition has all the DLC. A Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition, which has all the DLC. And then I have a Borderlands Double Game Add-on Pack, so some of the DLC separately. The original Bioshock. I love this game. I have the one that came with a slipcover. I played this demo several times, fell in love with the series, and I had to eventually go out and buy the game. Absolutely loved it. And then I had Bioshock 2. Love this one just as much as the first one. I beat this one a couple different times. And then finally I have Bioshock Infinite. And then I also have Bioshock Infinite, the complete edition, which has all the DLC. I do have the Bioshock collection for Xbox One, and I'm currently working on beating. I beat the first one, and I'm working on beating the second one, and then eventually I'll beat the Infinite one on there. Good series. Highly recommend those. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Cool Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Fallout New Vegas, the Ultimate Edition, which has all the DLC. Great one to get. And then I have the Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, which has all the DLC for Fallout 3. Uh, Quantum Theory, this is an interesting game. It's a third-person game that plays kind of like Gears of War. And then I have this Ultimate Rapture Edition of Bioshocks 1 and 2, plus bonus content. A Platinum Hits copy of Mass Effect. And then another version of Mass Effect, a different Platinum Hits one that I found over the years. Has all kinds of uh, bonus content stuff on there. Conan, this is an awesome action RPG. Very violent and brutal. It has uh, naked topless women, tons of violence and stuff. A great game. And uh, Ron Perlman voices Conan. Great game. Uh, Blaze Blue, Calamity Triggered. A regular version of Alan Wake. Oh, I love this game. I even own the remastered version. I beat this several times. Highly recommend it. Black Sight Area 51, a sequel to the old Area 51 from the original Xbox. A great first person shooter I recommend. Uh, Guitar Hero 5. Blades of Time, an awesome action RPG. Really like this one. Bully Scholarship Edition, that was a really fun game. Project Gotham Racing 4. Full Auto, a combat racing game, really neat. Frontlines Fuel of War, I remember this one was fun. MotoGP 07, great racing title. And MotoGP 06, another great motorcycle racing game. Here's my um, pre-order bonus for Fallout 3. Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z, pretty cool title. UFC Undisputed 2009. Hitman Absolution. Love the Hitman games. I have one baseball title. It's actually still sealed. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K8. The Orange Box, which has Half-Life 2, and then uh, Episode 1 and 2, and Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Really cool. Uh, Front Mission Evolved. This was a cool game. Death Star Broken Alliance. I don't know much about it, but it looked kind of neat. Midway Arcade Origins has a bunch of classic Midway Arcade titles. 007 Quantum of Solace. This is a really solid uh, 007 game. If you guys like 007, if you've not played it, I recommend it. And the first Left 4 Dead. I played this game so much solo with friends co-op online. I love this series. It was great. Uh, Brave, A Warrior's Tale, an interesting little action platformer. Lollipop Chainsaw, I've never played it, but I heard that it was kind of a silly game where you get to run around and fight zombies, so I picked that up. Uh, Saints Row 2, really awesome game, plays like Grand Theft Auto. A regular version of Grand Theft Auto 4, one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games of all time. Uh, Blade Store, The Hundred Year War, a Koei title. Uh, Lost Planet 2, sequel to that Lost Planet that I loved. Great game. Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. I played this a little bit, but don't remember too much of it. I do want to go, go back and play it again. 
Uh, Naval Assault, The Killing Tide. I heard really good things about this game. Raven Squad. This is an interesting game where you can play as first person, but you can also then turn it into an RTS. So it's like two genres in one. Worth checking out. Sean White Snowboarding. This was a Best Buy exclusive version of the game. Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds. Uh, Secret Service. This is an interesting first person shooter where you play as a Secret Service member. Uh, Clive Barker's Jericho, a cool first person shooter. Devil May Cry HD Collection. It's still sealed, brand new. Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. So this has the two expansions on disc. Great games. I have two copies of Sacred 2, one of my favorite games. I have a regular version, and then I have my GameStop pre-order edition. The reason I have, I have two is I used to play it co-op with my buddy with my two different Xbox 360s that we would have, so we could each have our own TV. Love this game. Beat this many times with multiple different characters. Really awesome. And now we'll go over one of my favorite uh, games here is we have the Ghostbusters, the video game. I have a regular version. Then I have the Best Buy exclusive version. I have the GameStop exclusive version, which is the one I owned originally, and a Walmart exclusive version, which I wanted to get this for variant collecting. Don't do that with many games, but the Ghostbusters was one of my favorite uh, games, my favorite Ghostbusters game of all time. Highly recommend this one. Guitar Hero Aerosmith and Halo Wars, which is a cool Halo RTS. Next up we have Metro Last Light Limited Edition. Love this game. Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, an amazing RTS. And Command & Conquer 3, Kane's Wrath, which is an uh, expansion pack to the regular Command & Conquer 3. Great game. Uh, Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Uh, the first Rainbow Six Vegas, great game. The first Grid, wonderful racing title. Indianapolis 500 uh, Evolution, a cool racing game. World of Outlaw Sprint Cars, another great racing title. Darksiders 2 Limited Edition, that was fun. Sega Rally Revo, really cool game. Lost Planet 3, great game. Regular version of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Marvel Superhero Squad Combat, Comic Combat. This is this little U Draw accessory that I bought, and I got this for that. Uh, Ace Combat Assault Horizon. I've not played it before, but I love the Ace Combat series, so I wanted to check it out. Air Conflict Secret Wars, another cool fight simulator combat title. We have Black College Football The Experience. G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. I like G.I. Joe, so this was actually a fun game. Uh, Bionic Commando, a sequel to the old one from NES. Really fun game, I recommend. Uh, Hitman, Blood Money, another great game in the Hitman series. Uh, Vampire Reign, a cool vampire RPG. A lot of people hated it, but I had a lot of fun with it. Disney Cars 2. Shadows of the Damned. It's pretty neat. And Resident Evil 6, not the best Resident Evil game, but I still had fun playing through the story. All right, guys, give me a moment to clean up again so I can get to the last stacks of these 360 titles. All right, friends, let's continue on. There's an absolute mess of 360 games behind me. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Love this game. Really fun. If you guys like the Banjo-Kazooie series and you've never played this one, I recommend it. It's really fun on 360. Uh, Bullet Witch. Really interesting game. It was really fun. Tom Clancy's End War. Uh, Storm Rise by Sega. I don't know much about it, but it looked fun. Uh, Street Fighter uh, X Tekken. So Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Really cool fighting title. Uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles, the complete edition. You can only get it as a platinum hit. It's really good. Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, first game. Loved it. Amazing title. Uh, Spider-Man 3, based off the movie. Really fun open world game. A lot of hours of content there. Uh, John Woo presents Stranglehold, the collector's edition. This is another one of the games where I played the demo multiple times. Absolutely loved it. And then I eventually got the game played and beat it. I even played some of the multiplayer and I was 
destroying people when I first played this game. It was really fun. Uh, the Darkness 2 is a great sequel to the first Darkness game. Loved it. The original Saints Row, really fun game. Uh, Forza Motorsport 4. Red Faction Guerrilla, love this game. Red Faction games are amazing. If you've not played this one, I recommend it. Uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel, great game. Test Drive Unlimited 2, I've never played it before, but when I saw they had a sequel, I knew I had to add it to the collection. Uh, Skylanders Imaginators. Uh, Quake 4, there's actually a couple different versions of this, great game. A regular version of Borderlands 2. Heavy Fire, Shattered Spear. I don't remember much about this, but it's a first-person shooter. It looks kind of fun. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I love this game. And Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Metal Gear Rising uh, Revengeance. This one is still brand new and sealed. Grand Theft Auto V regular version. A regular version of Call of Duty Ghosts. I know a lot of people hate it, but I enjoyed the story. Uh, Lost Odyssey, one of the few JRPGs on the Xbox 360. Uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. This is not one of the better Silent Hill games, but I still enjoyed it. I beat it multiple times, 100%. It got all the endings. It's, I'm a huge fan of Silent Hill, so I'd only recommend it if you're a big fan of Silent Hill. Murdered Soul Suspect. Really cool game. I remember watching my brother play and beat this game. You Draw Studio that came with that You Draw pad I talked about earlier. Uh, Dead Island Riptide, a sequel to the original Dead Island. What a great title that is. A regular copy of Forza Motorsport 2. Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. I had fun with this. I know a lot of people hated it, but I enjoyed it. Uh, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Really cool. A sealed Dreamcast collection, which has some classic Dreamcast titles. Medal of Honor, the limited edition. Fantasy Star Universe, another cool JRPG, but it is in real-time combat. I like that one. Uh, Lego Batman, the first one. The Walking Dead Telltale series, plus it had the complete first season, plus 400 days. This is how I first played it. Absolutely loved it. And then I also have The Walking Dead Season 2 Telltale Series. Really good games. A regular copy of Mass Effect 3. Overlord 2, a sequel to the first Overlord. I never did beat this one. I need to go back and beat it. I really liked it. It was even better than the first one. Um, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. So this takes place during the Clone Wars. A really fun game. And Star Trek Legacy, a really good Star Trek game where you get to battle through five different uh, series of Star Trek. Great game. Tomb Raider Legend, awesome game. What's really funny is there used to be a, a bug in this game which would delete save data off your console when it was first launched. So a lot of people were, were scared to play it. I remember that. Uh, this game Nailed, which is a uh, ATV racing title. Some more Kinect games. We have Fable, The Journey, uh, Hulk Hogan's main event. I just got it because uh, it's Hulk Hogan, and he was one of my favorite classic wrestlers. Uh, Dance Masters. My wife and son used to like playing that. Uh, Dragon Ball Z for Connect, And I also got them Just Dance uh, 3. I have a Platinum Hits copy of Grand Theft Auto 4. Soul Calibur 4, which has Yoda as a playable character, which is awesome. So if you like Star Wars, I recommend getting this version so you can have Yoda. The original Dark Souls, love the games. Super difficult, but really fun. Call of War as Bound in Blood, a great sequel. Guitar Heroes 3, Legends of Rock. Rock Revolution, another game that's kind of like a uh, rock band. Fight Night Round 3, classic boxing title. Naughty Bear, this was awesome. I also have the Naughty Bear Gold Edition, which has a DLC on it. You get to play as this Naughty Bear who goes around and kills other stuffed bears. My son, when he was little, he used to <laughs> love playing this game. And he used to say, I just got done defluffing them all. Really fun game, I recommend. Uh, we have Lego Marvel Avengers. Great game. Uh, Crash Mind Over Mutant, a cool Crash Bandicoot game. It's, this one's kind of pricey now. 
Heroes Over Europe, another combat simulator game. Love it. Transformers Fall of Cybertron with the slipcover, a great game. Love it. And the original Just Cause. I also have it for original Xbox, but the 360 version is much better. Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. This is the first one in that series. Plays just like Dynasty Warriors. Then I have Red Dead Redemption, the special edition with the uh, slipcover. And then I've got a couple of titles here that's just really interesting releases. It's Fear 3, but it came with the Orphan DVD. And then I have Mortal Kombat vs. DC, which came with the Mortal Kombat 1 movie. And then Lego Harry Potter Years 1-4, to 4, which came with a Harry Potter movie. So it was really cool that they released some 360 games with movies. So there are a few variants that I do own. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition, which has all the DLC on it. That's a great one. If you're going to play Red Dead Redemption, I'd get the Game of the Year Edition, as you can get all the DLC for it. I have a sealed copy of Anarchy Reigns. This is given to me by a buddy in a trade. A steelbook copy of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Dynasty Warriors 8, one of my favorite Dynasty Warrior games of all time. Tony Hawk's Project 8, that was a great skating game. Uh, Titanfall, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This is basically like a demo version of the regular Grand or regular Metal Gear Solid 5. The Serious Sam Collection, which has some Serious Sam games in it. Really good collection. Autobahn, Polisi, so a racing game. Uh, Connect Adventures, it came with my Connect. It was actually kind of fun playing this with the family. Samurai Warriors 2 Empires, love this game, beat it multiple times. Call of War as the Cartel, another good one in that series. Over G Fighters, another flight simulator combat title. Uh, Record of Argus War Zero, another RPG. And then Record of Argus War, which is still sealed and brand new. The Last Remnant, another cool action RPG. And Left 4 Dead 2, a great sequel to the first Left 4 Dead. I wish we would have got a Left 4 Dead 3. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, this was a GameStop uh, edition. And then I also eventually found a Batman Arkham Asylum, now in 3D, where you can play it in 3D, and it came with 3D glasses, really cool. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic Elements, not the greatest action RPG. Uh, it's first person, but I had fun with it. Uh, Sonic Unleashed was kind of fun. Crash of the Titans, another cool Crash Bandicoot game. NBA 2K7. Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine. You can race all kinds of weird vehicles in this. Look kind of fun. Game of Thrones, the Telltale version. Universe at War, Earth Assault, another uh, RTS. Apache Air Assault, another uh, flight simulator combat title. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It says Hardened Edition, but it's just... I just found the uh, plastic slipcover, the book, the DVD, and then I put a regular copy of the game in there. Far Cry 4 Limited Edition. Alpha Protocol, just uh, disc only. 99 Nights 2, a great sequel to the first one. Transformers Devastation, another cool Transformers game. Thor, God of Thunder, now playable in 3D. A regular copy of Max Payne 3, love this game, classic. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Pop Cap Arcade Volume 2. You have Peggle, Feeding Frenzy 2, and Heavy Weapons. So some cool Xbox Live Arcade titles. Plants vs. Zombies. Resident Evil Revelation 2. And then looks like a third copy of The Rise of the Argonauts. Venetica. This is a cool action RPG. Legendary. This is a cool first person shooter. Battlefield Bad Company 2 Ultimate Edition, which had some DLC. I have a Steelbook copy for Halo 4. Mirror's Edge, that was an interesting title. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, I beat the Xbox One version. And when I heard that they had a 360 version, I wanted to check it out. Now, the graphics are obviously not as good because it's on the 360, but it plays just like it, and I had a lot of fun with it. I am very close to beating this one. Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. This is a pretty cool game where basically the guy play this knows that he's in a video game and it breaks the fourth wall and stuff. Really interesting first-person shooter. Um, the only hockey title I have, NHL 09. 
I do like playing hockey once in a while, so I had to keep one for the 360. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Love this game. Beat it a couple times. I beat it last year. Amazing title. If you love Warhammer and you never played it, highly recommend it. I can't wait for Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 to come out. I just can't wait for that one. We have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. I liked it much more than the first one. The Hitman HD Trilogy Collection. Really cool. A nice, cool case here. Uh, the Lost Planet. Extreme Condition Collector's Edition. Really awesome. Has some cool bonus stuff. Another Connect game, the Black Eyed Peas Experience. Deca Sports Freedom. Have the regular version of Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway. Love this game. I uh, played this last year. Had a lot of fun with it. Limited Edition Assassin's Creed Rogue. I have a Steelbook version of Assassin's Creed 3. I have the GameStop version of Assassin's Creed 3. And then I have a regular version of Assassin's Creed 3. I have Assassin's Creed Revelation Signature Edition. And I have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I love the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2. And the one that started it all, Assassin's Creed 1. And then I've also got a GameStop version of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Got most of these at a thrift store for really cheap. World of Tanks Xbox 360 version. Uh, Clash of the Titans, the video game based off the movie. Don't know much about it, but I would like to check it out. Um, this one is IL-2 Sturmovic Birds of Prey. Another flight simulator combat title. Monster Madness Battle for Suburbia. Project Silphied Arc of Deception. That's a pretty cool game. Um... Jane's Advanced Strike Fighter, so another flight simulator combat title. Guilty Gear 2 Overture, really good game. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 regular version. Shell Shock 2 Blood Trails, this is a really eerie horror first person shooter that takes place in Vietnam and some weird shit happens. Very brutal and violent, highly recommend that one. The original Dead Rising, it started this series, love it. Uh, Section 8, this is a fun game I used to play with uh, one buddy. Uh, Split Second, a cool racing title. Uh, Bad Company Battlefield Gold Edition, which has some DLC on it, which is cool. I have the Limited Edition, or Limited Collector's Edition of Splinter Cell Double Agent. The Devil May Cry 4 Collector's Edition. Sniper Ghost Warrior Steelbook Limited Edition. Awesome game. This is a really cool one that I found years ago. It was a, in its sealed, it was a Walmart exclusive Need for Speed Hot Pursuit version. Really cool. And then I have L.A. Noir, the complete edition in this big box, which has all the DLC for that. Uh, Prince of Persia Limited Edition. My brother gave me this. Has some cool bonus stuff. I also have uh, Fable 3, the limited collector's edition, which I got last year. Really awesome. Dead Island Riptide Steelbook. I won a contest here on YouTube, and this was the prize for it, so that was cool to get. Robert uh, Littles, The Born Conspiracy. This was a really fun game. Kind of like a James Bond game. I really liked it. I recommend it. Uh, Singularity, this was an amazing first-person shooter. It even has a quote from the Borat movie in one of the lockers. I don't want to spoil it, but if you like Borat, look through all the lockers and you will find a little Easter egg from that movie in there. Really cool. Uh, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, that one was fun. Damage Inc. Pacific Squadron World War II. I do have the collector's edition version of this you guys will see here soon. The Bureau... XCOM Declassified, awesome title. Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. If you like Gundam, you like Dynasty Warriors, they combine them together. It's really cool. Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1. Dynasty Warriors Strike Force. Dynasty Warriors 7, another one that I really enjoyed. Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires. Dynasty Warriors 6. Samurai Warriors. 2, Warriors Orochi 3, Warriors Orochi 2, and the first 
Warriors Orochi. Dynasty Warriors 5 Empire. So you guys can see, I love my Dynasty Warriors games. I played all of them. Love them all. Uh, the first Darksiders, that game was amazing. If you've never played it, I highly recommend that one. Now we're getting to some favorite first-person shooters of mine. Uh, Fear, First Encounter, Assault Recon, really cool horror first-person shooter. Have Fear Files, which is a complete standalone expansion pack to the first Fear. Uh, Fear 2, Project Origin, my favorite of the trilogy. And then, of course, Fear 3, awesome games. Now we'll move on here. I've got XCOM Enemy Unknown. Metro 2033, love this game. Uh, Remember Me, I've not played it, but I heard good things. My brother recommended it to me. Uh, Juiced 2, Hot Import Nights, a cool import game. Uh, Stunt Ignition, Stuntman Ignition, that was a fun game. Chrome Hounds used to love playing this online. Sadly, they shut down the servers and you can only play a little tutorial on it anymore. Sad, because this was really fun to play uh, multiplayer. Uh, Godfather the game, beat this 100%, loved it. The limited collector's edition of Perfect Dark Zero. Rock Band Country Track Pack 2. NBA 2K11. NBA 2K10. NBA 2K9. And NBA 2K6, which I do love the NBA 2K series. Unreal uh, Tournament, that was really cool. Hellboy, The Science of Evil, loved this game. Even had the strategy guide for it. I did beat it. I would like to go back through and get all the uh, secrets and collectibles. Uh, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes, still seal. Now, okay, some cool racing titles. We have MX vs. ATV Untamed. MX vs. ATV Alive. MX vs. ATV Supercross and MX vs. ATV Reflex. I have all four of those MX vs. ATV games for the 360. All four of them are amazing. Uh, Deadpool. Oh, I love this game. If you guys love Deadpool, you'll love this game. There's all kinds of funny moments. He breaks the fourth wall all the time. Uh, just a really fun Marvel game I recommend. And we also have Sonic and All-Star Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. Really cool version. Dragon Age Origins Collector's Edition, amazing game. Um, the Incredible Hulk, I love this game, I beat it. Call of Duty World at War, one of my favorite Call of Duty games. Absolutely love the story in this, really good. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 2. A regular version of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Down to just the last few here, guys. Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. Skylander, Spyro's Adventure, Near, that's a cool RPG, uh, Box Office, Smash, Seen It, which I'll, you guys will see the big box version of this later, Sniper, Ghost Warrior 2, awesome game, uh, TNA Impact, wrestling game, really fun, uh, Earth Defense Force 2017, Sniper Elite 3, Sniper Elite V2, Dead or Alive 5. Odometus Excellent, which is a side scroll shooter. Really fun. Um, Pure. Pretty cool. Crash Time Autobomb Pursuit. Wolfenstein The New Order. They did port it to Xbox 360. I have an Xbox One. It's on four discs for 360. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Infernal Hell's Vengeance. And finally. Dead or Alive Extreme 2. So there you guys go. That's all the regular versions. Now we'll take a look around my game room at some of the collector's editions that I do own for the 360. And then we'll come back here and uh, end the video. Hey friends, while I was putting my Xbox 360 collection away, I actually found a stack of games that I forgot to share with you guys. So now we're going to go over those and I'm just going to insert the clip into the video. So for the Connect Minute to Win It featuring, featuring Guy Fieri, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, a really awesome Transformers game. Love this one. Really good. Army of Two, 40th Day, a really great uh, game. I love this just as much as I did the first game. It might even be uh, my favorite of the three games. Really good game. I like the story. Characters. Really cool. 
And I also have the Overkill edition of Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. I did not like this one as much as the first two, but it's still pretty fun. Now, I've only beat it once, and it's been forever, so I would like to go back and play this game again and uh, experience the story, as I've completely forgotten the story in all three of the games. Next up, we have Alien Isolation, the Nostromo edition, which I do own this for Xbox One, but it was really fascinating that they made a port for 7th Gen consoles, so it's interesting that Alien Isolation can run on the Xbox 360. I've never played it, but I would like to pop it in just to see how the game runs, the performance, and how the graphics look on an older machine. Uh, next up, we have the Far Cry compilation. This is really sweet. This has Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3, and Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, because Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is digital only, but if you get this compilation, you can get it on disc. So that's the only way to get it physically is in this compilation. Really cool. Glad to have that. Far Cry 2, which I did finally beat last year. Loved this game. It was really awesome. I was able to get all the collectible diamonds and stuff in the game. Really good. I used my uh, strategy guide for it. Really awesome. I have a uh, Lego Batman and Pier double pack. Pretty cool. And finally, we have Monopoly Streets, another Monopoly game. Really awesome uh, collection of Monopoly boards and stuff. I love this one. All right, guys. So there's some more Xbox 360 titles I found for you. Now we'll resume with the rest of the video. Found one other game I missed, guys. Ridge Racer Unbounded. This is a really cool racing game in the Ridge Racer series. Definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of the series, I would pick up Ridge Racer Unbounded. All right, friends, and now we're going to take a look at some of the big collector's editions I have for the 360 that are out on display in the game room. First up is my Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist Paladin Edition. Now, what's really sweet about this is it actually has a RC flying Paladin plane. So you can actually fly that plane out in the world. It's really cool. I'm not going to ever fly mine, but it did turn on and does work. I have seen videos of it. It's really awesome. It's a really cool collector's piece. Eventually, I would actually like to take the plane out and display it by hanging it from the uh, ceiling. Came with some really good bonus stuff as well. And coming on over here, I have my Halo Reach Legendary Edition. I love uh, Halo, one of my favorite series, and I loved Halo Reach a lot. I never got a chance to get the Halo Reach Legendary Edition. But I got this last year for a really good deal from one of my local game stores. I also was able to piece it together when I bought a part of it at the thrift store. So that was a really awesome a legendary edition. I love having that in the collection here. And then we'll move up here past my Funko Pops and my wife's Funko Pops. And I have the Max Payne 3 Special Edition Collector's Edition, which has a really cool statue of Max Payne in there. Really happy to have this in the collection as I've wanted that for a long time and I got it for a really good deal at a local game store. Then over here it's kind of hard to see but I do have the Ninja Gaiden 3 Collector's Edition. It has a really cool statue in there. My parents got me that for a Christmas a few years ago. Really love having that in the collection. All right, guys, so then on display in the game room here, my Xbox One X is actually sitting on top of it. I own the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. Really awesome collector's edition. I love the Batman uh, Arkham series. Now, I do have the other ones in my collection. However, they're put up on top of the bookshelf on the game wall behind other collector's editions. So I will share a picture of those later on in the video so you guys can check them out. But I love this collector's edition. It is awesome. All right, and up here on the game wall here, I actually have two collector's edition copies of Aliens Colonial Marines. I love the game, but I know a lot of people hated it. Um, I have one that's brand new and sealed and one that's open, and I got these on clearance at my local game stores for a really good price. I also have the Two Worlds 2 Royal Edition. Love the game, so I'm really happy that I got the collector's edition. I got it at a game store before it closed down. I also got the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition, as I love the Dark Souls uh, series. Got a really cool statue in there. I have the Grand Theft Auto 5 Collector's Edition. I was really disappointed in that Collector's Edition, as it really didn't come with a whole lot of bonus stuff, just a hat and stuff. So I was kind of disappointed with it, but um, it's still neat to have. 
Uh, love the game, but they could have made a much better collector's edition. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 was collector's edition was so much better than that one. Then over here, one of my favorite pieces in my collection is this Gears of War 3 Epic Edition. Got this on launch night. Uh, I have the Marcus Phoenix statue in there. I actually, I actually used to have him out on display, but I ran out of space in the game room, so I just put him back in the box. But I love having that Epic Edition. It was really awesome. And above that, I do have my boxed Xbox 360 Elite Resident Evil 5 Red Limited Edition console. I got that from my brother. Really awesome. And then we come over here, and one of my bigger collector's edition is this Elder Scrolls V Skyrim collector's edition. I got this brand new and sealed for 60 bucks on clearance from GameStop. I got this a few months after the game had launched. I had missed out on being able to pre-order, which kind of bummed me out. But I went to a random GameStop I'd never been to before, and they happened to have it sitting up top. And I asked about it, and they were like, oh yeah, we have it on clearance because nobody uh, bought it. The person who pre-ordered it canceled, and it's literally just been sitting up there. Give me 60 bucks and it's yours. Jumped on that deal and took that home and added it to my collection. And now we'll take a look at some of the smaller collector's edition. I actually have a whole shelf dedicated to collector's edition over here. First up in the corner here, I do have the Fallout New Vegas collector's edition, really awesome. I have this Damage Inc. Pacific Squadron World War II, so it's a World War II uh, plane uh, combat simulator. Comes with a cool flight stick, really neat. I also have the Prototype 2 Black Watch collector's edition, still sealed. I have the Madden uh, collector's edition from 89 to 2009, the 20-year anniversary one, pretty neat. And I also have the Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 Collector's Edition, really neat. Give me a second, guys, to clean up. And then over here, it's kind of hard to see, but I have the Halo 3 Limited Edition. I have the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Collector's Edition. Sex Human Revolution, the Augmented Edition. The Killer is Dead Collector's Edition. WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. This was a collector's edition that was exclusive to GameStop and EB Games. Pretty cool. The limited edition of Alan Wake collector's edition. I love Alan Wake. One of my favorite collector's edition. I have the Dead Space 2 collector's edition, which has a replica of the plasma cutter that when you hit the buttons, it lights up. Still works really awesome. Halo Wars collector's edition. I actually have two Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Conviction Collector's edition, I have one brand new and sealed and one open. Sadly, the USB drive that they include with these were all corrupted and did not work. Real shame as I really wanted to get the bonus content on there. The Two Worlds uh, Collector's Edition, love the game. I know a lot of people hated it, but I enjoyed it. My Aliens vs. Predator Collector's Edition, I actually had to piece this together between two different sellers on eBay and I got it for a really good price. Absolutely love this game, it's amazing. The Enchanted Arms game. I have the Halo Reach uh, Limited Edition. Mass Effect 2 Collector's Edition. Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition. And then I also have Gears of War 1 Collector's Edition and Gears of War 2 Limited Edition. So those are all the little ones that I have over here. And then down here, I do have the Bioshock Limited Edition, which comes with a Big Daddy figure. And I also have Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 Collector's Edition. All right, and we also have my limited edition Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway Collector's Edition, really cool. Comes with a really neat uh, figure in there and some bonus stuff. I also have the Call of Duty Ghosts Hardened Edition, brand new and sealed. I did not pay that $120 uh, for that. I got it for uh, 10 bucks from my uh, buddy Todd. I know a lot of people didn't like Call of Duty Ghosts, but I enjoyed this story and I like having that uh, collector's edition in my set. I also have these really cool light camera action seen it games. Both of them have the big box. It came with four controllers where you watch movies and get uh, trivia from different movie clips. Really fun party game to play with friends. I used to play this with uh, my family and uh, friends. It's been a long time. I'm definitely going to have to bust these out again here. It's, it's a really fun party game. I definitely recommend getting these for the Xbox 360 if you're looking for a good party game to play on a gaming night or family or friends or something, bust these out and you get to play some really fun games with some really fun trivia. And I also wanted to share a picture. I do have the Walking Dead Telltale 
Game Series Collector's Edition. This came with the game, but also came with the Walking Dead comic book series that the TV show and that the game is based on. And it has, I think, like the first 50 issues or something. That's a really cool collector's edition that I got at one of my local game stores. This is out in the game room, but it's the bottom of the bookshelf. And it is uh, kind of hard to see, so I wanted to just share a picture of it. But another one of the cool collector's edition in my collection. And then here's a picture of one of my favorite collector's edition in my set. It's the Grand Theft Auto 4 Special Edition. I got this for a really good deal at one of my local game stores. Now this is sitting up on the top of the game wall and you can see it. Unfortunately, it is turned sideways. You can only see the spine. So I wanted you guys to be able to see what the uh, box looks like, but really love this collector's edition and I'm really happy to have it in my collection as I love Grand Theft Auto 4, one of my favorite games in the series. So happy to have this in the collection. All right, and then I wanted to share with you guys my Batman Arkham Trilogy Collection of the Collector's Edition, which I have the Batman Arkham Asylum Collector's Edition, which has that really sweet Batarang, had all kinds of cool collectibles in it. I also have the Batman Arkham City Collector's Edition and the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. Now you guys saw the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition because I actually have that out on display in the game room but the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City Collector's Editions are actually sitting on top of the bookshelf behind other Collector's Editions so you can't actually see them so that's why I wanted to share a picture of them with you so I could include them in the video. I'm a huge fan of the Batman Arkham series and I was really excited that I was able to get these three for the Xbox 360 for an incredible deal at one of my local game stores a few years ago. They hooked me up with a great deal on them and I love having these in my collection. I just wanted to show you guys the aftermath of filming that uh, Xbox 360 collection video. Now I get the fun of putting it all back on the shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed that look at my Xbox 360 collection. As you see, it's absolutely massive, almost 600 games. I had a lot more, but like I said, I had downsized and got rid of a bunch of trash titles that I did not want to uh, play or enjoy. I beat a lot of these games already, but there's still a big amount of them that I have not played yet or I need to go back and complete. Let me know your guys' thoughts if you guys enjoyed the video. I'd also like to hear about um, what games you guys have in your Xbox 360 collection. If there's a game you would recommend you think I should add to my collection, let me know. And if you guys have a collection video of your Xbox 360 up on YouTube, let me know about it as I'd enjoy checking it out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. You guys have an amazing day and sleepy. We'll see ya next time.